We live on an incredible planet, home to a mind-boggling variety of life forms, where every species is part of a finely balanced community of interconnected ecosystems. Humans have been changing nature for millennia, but now it's come to a point where we have to step in to actively manage our remaining native habitats. Sometimes that means controlling unwanted species. Sometimes it's to bring back species that we have lost. This week I'm going to explore some of Ireland's most spectacular wild places to find out if our interventions will be enough to save what we have left. Irish oak woodlands are very special places. They've been part of the Irish story for millennia. We don't have very many really old native woodlands left in Ireland. So places like this in Killarney are really special. Above we have ancient oak trees. And then we've got an understory of birch, holly and mountain ash. And the carpet of woodland herbs on the floor with flowers that feed pollinators, like bees and moths. And then there's all the leaf litter on the ground with literally hundreds of different invertebrates. All of this provides the basis for the woodland food chain. But as well as all the indigenous plants and animals, there are other plants and animals introduced here by humans. Some of these are wreaking havoc in the woodland ecosystem. And if we want these woods to survive the invasion, it's up to us to intervene. There's a large population of red deer in Killarney National Park. Lately, the population has exploded, which is bad news for the precious woodlands. Tim Burkett worked for the National Parks and Wildlife Service for years and is passionate about preserving what's unique about this wonderful wild ecosystem. Tim, we've always had deer in Ireland, right? They're a native species. Yes, we've had deer really since the end of the last ice age, in actual fact. Okay. Um, but we have had also some relatively recent introductions in terms of that sort of time period. Um, so what's, what are the new species the of deer? The new species are the fallow deer, which are probably the oldest introduction, and the seeker deer, which are quite recent, probably 200 years. While red deer have been here for millennia, seeker deer were introduced to Ireland by Lord Powerscourt in 1860. In just 150 years, the population has grown to 20,000. Here we have a deer exclosure. So this is to yeah. keep the deer out, out of the woods. Yeah. Why are the deer a problem in these woods? Well, they can impact on these woodlands in a variety of different ways. Primarily, really, it's their grazing on seedlings, bark stripping of mature trees, browsing on all sorts of other plant life that exists in the woodland. It's all a very complex system. And if deer intervene at high numbers, then it can break down quite quickly. There's a, a really big difference then between the openness here and all the growth that we can see behind the fence. Yes. The fence is, is necessary then. The fence is necessary because it allows for a lot of plant species to actually recover in some cases and to actually grow in other cases. And is it a big deal to keep these woods fenced off then to yes, keep the deer out? it is. It's really, really a very expensive operation. Uh, in some cases, it's the only way that we can actually protect a lot of these woodlands from uh, overgrazing by deer. So it's Otherwise, a big job. It's, it's an expensive job. job. Yeah. But it's really important for yes. the survival of these woods. Absolutely. 
And then fencing is, is one part of the strategy. Are there other things that we need to do to, to keep these woodlands kind of healthy? Well, other things obviously involve um, having to control the deer population. That means and culling deer, that killing means culling deer. deer. That actually means um, lethal control. So it, it shooting them. shooting them. It actually, there is no alternative. We really have to replace the top predators, which would have been in this country, would have been the wolf. Okay, so we would have had wolves in the yeah. past that would have kept tabs on the size mm -hmm. of the deer population. We don't have wolves anymore. We've yeah. hunted them to extinction. Yeah. So we have to do that role. So we have to take the role of the wolf. Wild deer are amazing animals. For most of the year, the males and females live separately. But autumn is mating season, and males have to fight for the right to mate. We've got one male deer. It's a native red deer. He's got his harem of females here. And because it's just coming up the mating season or the rotting season, he's chasing off all the other young males, the yearlings. Rotting means mating, which means even more deer. With no wolves, their natural predator, the population just grows and grows. We simply must do more to protect these woods from the damage that the deer are inflicting. <laughs>